Chlorophyll. It's what gives plants their green color and allows them to use sunlight to grow. But plants aren't the only organisms that use chlorophyll, and there isn't just one kind of chlorophyll out there. What makes these molecules so special? And why are scientists so excited about the most recently discovered chlorophyll, chlorophyll F? Welcome to Lightbulb Science. Chlorophyll allows for the first critical step of photosynthesis to take place, the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. The chlorophyll molecule has a special structure with electrons that aren't associated with any one atom. Hit it with enough energy in the form of light, and electrons can be ejected from the molecule altogether. But these electrons must be replaced, and this is done by splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen ions, the fuel of photosynthesis. Different groups attached to the chlorine ring lead to different chlorophylls, each absorbing different frequencies of light. Almost all photosynthesis uses chlorophyll A, which absorbs blue and red light. For most plants, this works fine, but not perfectly. At 25% daylight intensity, most plants reach light saturation and actively suppress photosynthesis to avoid cell damage. Combined with heat stress and water scarcity, the window of opportunity for photosynthesis in land plants becomes increasingly narrow. And this is a big problem. A few degrees of global warming could make the photosynthesis of vital crop species untenable over vast areas of land. Even without climate change, a growing population demands that we produce more food with the same amount of land. And this is where chlorophyll F could be a game changer. It used to be thought that chlorophyll could only utilize light in the visible spectrum, but with the discovery of chlorophyll D and F in photosynthetic bacteria, which utilize far red light, this assumption was overturned. While far red light has less energy than visible light, it can reach areas that visible light cannot. If we could engineer plants to utilize chlorophyll F, we could increase the amount of light available to plants by nearly 20% and allow plants to grow in conditions that are currently considered light deficient. Imagine how much more efficiently land area could be used if we could grow chlorophyll F in rich crops beneath a canopy of trees instead of in open fields. Imagine the effective increase in the length of the growing season of crops at higher latitudes if we could make better use of limited daylight hours and low solar radiation. Unfortunately, we still know very little about chlorophyll F. We don't know if it only functions as an accessory pigment or whether it can fully replace the function of other chlorophylls. While chlorophyll F most closely resembles chlorophyll B, the enzymes and genes regulating its synthesis remain unknown. Only through continued molecular biology research can we hope to uncover the synthesis and regulation of this molecule within the organisms that utilize it. Just maybe, the engineering of chlorophyll, one of the most abundant molecules on the planet, may hold the key to ensuring our future food security. Thank you.